Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up single image printing in Lightroom. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up an image to print in Lightroom. I have four images here in a smart collection called Print Photos. The smart collection is all images that have the keyword print, but you could do this with a folder of images or just a regular collection. This collection also has two empty images that I use for different purposes, so you could just ignore those for now. Let's focus on these four images that are all ready for printing. I'm going to leave the library module now and go to the print module to get ready to print these images. When I go into the print module, it is defaulting to the last selected set of options. So we want to come in here into the Layout Style options and choose Single Image Contact Sheet. That allows us to create and print just one image. And now what you'll probably want to do also is go into this Print Job area and just make sure that it's set to Print to Printer. You can print to a JPEG file, but for today we're looking at printing to a printer. Once you've set up your layout style and your print job, it's time to go and set up your printer. On a Mac you would have two buttons here, one which controls page setup and one which controls print setup. On the PC you just have one. So just select this option here on the PC, select the appropriate page setup option on the Mac. I've already selected my printer here, which is an HP PhotoSmart printer. I want to print on letter size paper, but I'd like to print on landscape paper. It makes it a little easier for me to see how this is all going to print if the image and the paper are in the same orientation, but you could choose either. It's just I find this one easier. I'll click OK. And you can see that now my image has been rotated. My paper is letter size paper, but my image is all rotated. Well, let's go and make some changes to our settings. Now we've already selected the right layout style, so we don't need to change that. But let's go to Image Settings. At the moment we've got selected Zoom to Fill and Rotate to Fit. Well, let's disable Rotate to Fit because I would like my image rotated the way that it is here on the film strip. And this looks to be some sort of 5 by 7 image, but you can see that it is a portrait size image and I have a landscape size photo. So let's just disable Zoom to Fill. And now I'm seeing my landscape orientation image inside the paper that I plan to print it on. Everything's pretty good except the image isn't quite the paper size. Well, let's go to Layout. At the top of the layout here are the margins, and you can see that we have quarter inch and half inch margins. And I can bring these back to no margins at all. Well, as close to no margins at all as my printer will let me do. Now, my HP printer is not configured for borderless printing, and your printer may not be able to achieve borderless printing. If you don't have your printer set up for borderless printing, or if it's not able to do that, you're going to see some narrow borders, narrow margins around this image, and you're going to be stuck with those. There's nothing you can do to change that because your printer can't get that close to the edge of a sheet of paper. Of course, if you're able to do borderless printing and you've selected borderless printing, you shouldn't be seeing these margins. You should be able to wind these back to zero. Now our page grid is one column, one row. That's this image here. And as you can see, its height is 7 inches and its width is 5. Well, if we wanted it to be different, we can just adjust these sizes. So I want to use up the maximum area on this sheet of paper. So I'm going to wind this up to as wide as it can possibly go. And then I'm going to adjust it to as high as it can possibly go. I'm going to make sure that my margins are as small as they can be. And let's just go back to image settings. Right now we're seeing the entire image, so every portion of the image is on this sheet of paper. But if I click Zoom to Fill, 
I'll actually get a bigger image. It's just that part of it is lopped off because the width of the image is too wide to fit in this area. So I get two choices here. I can zoom to fill and then just move the image into the position that I want it to take up or I can deselect zoom to fill and have a slightly smaller version of the image but everything is here. Now I want as big a piece of photo as I can get and I'm just going to move this into the position I want to use. So we're ready now to go ahead and print this document. So I could just click print to print it. But if you have a look down here, you'll see that it says page one of one. So that's indicating to me that perhaps it would be possible to have multiple pages. Well, it is. You can see down here on the film strip that we only have one image selected. If I go and select another image, that's the one that will print. But if I click on one and shift click on the last, then here I have four pages set up to print. Each photo is going to be on a separate page and I can move through the photos by just clicking these arrows here and I can arrange each photo as I want it to be because all my images are just a little bit wider than the container that they're in. So let's come back to this first one and just arrange it exactly where we want it to print. Now once I've printed these images or even if I'm not ready to print them right now, I can save this print job. Here it says create saved print. This was new in Lightroom 4 and 5. So I'm going to click here to create a print collection. So I'm going to call this print April 22. I'm going to include only the used photos and click create. And what that does is to create a print collection that contains all those images. But to see exactly how that works, let's go back to the library module for a minute and let's just go and get another folder. These are San Francisco trams and let's go into the print module and let's choose something completely different for these images. So having done that, let's return to the library. Now let's go back and get the print job that we just set up because when we grab it, you'll see that all the settings that we had in place are in here. I'm going to just click here to open the print and you can see that we're on a single image contact sheet. All four images are sitting here all ready to be selected and printed. So this create save print option is really useful. It not only lets you save the images that you were set to print into a separate collection, but also all these print options. And later on, if you wanted to, you could drag and drop another image into this collection. And when you do that, it's going to be set up to print exactly the same way as all these other images. So there's how to set up a single image for printing in Lightroom. In other videos, I'm going to cover using the picture package and custom package and also creating a contact sheet. But for now, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.